Alright people, welcome back to another video. Alright guys, so today I got another awesome video to show you guys, right? So with today's video guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get the best quality, best frame rate, best everything, running Starfield on your ASUS rope. I had it for like a week now, September 1st, so I've been doing some testing to see what's going on, what's the best thing, quality, best um, mode and everything to run the game as smooth as possible with the best frame rate, right? Uh, so let me just get into it real quick, show you what I'm rocking with, so you can get your game up and running. Also guys, before I do that, hit that subscribe button for me, because I post a lot of awesome content on my channel. Turn that notification bell off, so you get notified when I drop those videos. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think guys. Alright guys, so, first thing I want you guys to go to do, before you do anything, open the game. I need to do a few stuff. I need you to go... In the armor crate, go to settings, then you go to operating mode. I need you to change the VRAM. Your GPU settings, go here. Right now I got it on 5 gig. I've been doing some testing, 4 gig, 5 gig, 6 gig. I mean, you don't really need 6 or 4. I mean, you could just, in between sweet spot, I'll say go with 5 gigs. Next thing I want you guys to do is, if you haven't done this, you need to watch my video on how to install 900p on your system. So that's what we're about to do. Put your change, you go to settings, then you go to display, and you want to change the screen resolution to 900p. If you don't know how to do this, then the video is on my channel. I'll put that link in the description down below so you can watch that, how to add 900p to your system, right? With this, it's not full 1080p, but it's better than 720, and you get better screen resolution. The colors and everything pop more. It looks way better than if you were to play in 720. So I recommend you go with 900p. And then once you do that, it won't actually reset. It won't actually restart, you should be good. So now, what you need to do now is start the game. Go back to Armor Crate. Now when you start the game up, you go into settings. On my old video, I had a video that I show you guys like my settings for Starfield. This is just an updated version of that because I've been playing it and I've seen a lot more things that could make my my experience a lot better so that's why i'm doing an update right so right now everything is on low you can leave them on low not a big difference between some of the stuff that i see because if you want to do it you could put the quality on medium the the shadow quality on medium and stuff like that to give it a little bit of tweaking you still should be good but let's leave everything on low so the new upscale i'm using is cas right cast so before I was using FSR2, but I found out with CAS, you get less, least amount of glitches, you know what I'm saying? Not much glitches compared to the FSR. That's just my experience playing it. Then with sharpening, you don't got to put it all the way up. You can put it, how depending on how you like it, how you want the game to look, to your preferences. You can put it up and down and go back and see if you like it. My film grain intensity, that's all the way up. That's your preference again. And yeah, so that's basically all my settings for the end game, right? One of the next main thing I need you guys to change is CPU boost, right? CPU boost, before it wasn't really helping out with other games. I should have let you guys did that before you open this, the, before you turn on the game, but we can still do that. The CPU boost with other, other games, it wasn't really helping you out that much it was just there just because but with starfield it really gives you it really gives you a little bit more boost to your performance like your fps and your quality so it gives you a little bit more um boost on that so you want to make sure that's on before it was off the whole time when i turned off on my other video that i posted so you can save battery life it was up to you so you want to oh, you turn it on now you go to settings you go to Order and sounds, then you go to power options, right? So in here, once you get in here, each mode, you gotta change it for each mode. Since I'm in turbo, that's what it's selected right now. You hit that. Then you go to change advanced power mode, processor power management, hit that, open it up. Then you go to uh, power processor management boost mode again. Open up that. And here, it says on aggressive. I recommend you leaving it on whenever you're playing Starfield in any mode. Okay, it gives you that extra boost in your quality and your frame rate. So leave that on, guys. 
but as I said, it's your uh, preference if you want to leave it on or not. If you plugged in, you know, it's not really affecting your battery life that much because it's plugged in. Your device is always plugged in, so you're not losing any battery, right? That's the first thing I should have told you guys to change before you open the game. Or it doesn't matter, you can do it within the game or not. But I still recommend if you did that before, just close the game, restart it once you change it. If you had put it, disabled it before, just make sure you enable it, close the game, and restart the game. Then you should be in full effect after that. Remember, you gotta do that for each mode as well. And also, if you guys don't know how to get the option to enable it, just watch my video. I'll put that in the description down below again. And you can go there, you could enable it, disable it. Alright, so I'm just gonna keep it on the table. And we can't even play like that. It's outside right now. So I'm getting 28 frames, 29. So it's uh, average 28, 29. You get me? That's, that's, the, that's the average either way. Even if you're playing on 720p, that's still the average. So 900p, you still getting that? That's great, man. So, but that's that's outside though. It's kind of still smooth, still good. But when you go inside, you get a different whole experience. So let me go down here, and I'll show you the frame rate once you go outside. See, it's smooth. And let's go down here in the basement. 30 frames. That's just the average right there. Alright, so now we're downstairs. It dropped a little bit right there. So now we're at 40, 39, 37. Forty-one. Way better than before, right? So let's go to FSR. Sorry. Alright, so this right is FSR. See, it's a little bit lower than before. 36. Average out the same sometimes, though. But it's still a smooth gameplay, guys. No issue, none of that. And it's playable. Alright, so I see 46, 45. So the frame rate will always be better inside when you start building. She hit 50 right there, 46, and that's at 900 p. If you're at 720, you'll be getting a lot more frames inside. Get me? So you'll be getting sometimes 60, because when I was on 720, I was getting 60. But for better, for the better, for the better uh, resolution, 900 p, 40 is not bad. It's still a smooth. You can't really tell the difference sometimes when you're playing playing the game right you can't really tell the 60 versus 40 sometimes not really but it's still good playable 40 42 as long as it's over 30 i'm good with that i don't really like playing at 30 because you could notice that but that's that's they make it out they make it man they gotta work with what they give you but it's still good 900p uh fsr r cast but cast is what I'm recommending right now. Less more glitches, I think, in my opinion. But it's up to you. No really big difference between the both of them, like visual wise. And then you could up like the settings if you want to do that. Mess with like the shadow and stuff like that. And the game will still run fine, right? So that's basically it guys. Um thanks for tuning in. Like what I'm posting. Hit that like button. Sub to the channel. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And yeah guys, remember to always say health is wealth, peace and love, I'm out.